On Saturday, September 23rd, The Hounds of Harajin was, at long last, released and is available for sale. But, if you've gone to the Amazon, CreateSpace, Kobo, etc. webpage, you may have seen subtitles listed there. Episode 1, 2, etc., or Volume 1 or 2. So what precisely is Episode 1? What is Volume 1? Is there going to be a sequel? Is this an ongoing series? What's the deal? In an earlier video, I showed you the colossal size of the Hounds of Origin. Specifically, it's about 1,300 pages, which consists of 140 chapters, as well as about 100 more pages worth of excursuses as historical notes on the figures of Attila, Genghis Khan, and Tamerlane, and the Mongol shamanic religion of Tengriism, as well as three appendices, that is, the maps, glossary, and dramatis personae. All told, more than a half million words. This is too large to publish as a singular binding, so out of sheer necessity, I'm forced to split it between two volumes. Volume 1 consists of the prologue and the first 66 chapters, Volume 2 of chapters 67 through 140. The excursuses, as well as the appendices, will be included in both volumes for reference sake. But, you may be thinking, I don't know. Volume 1 is over 700 pages, it deals with the Mongols, which is kind of a niche history and culture. Look at some of those Mongol names. I'm not sure if I want to put 700 pages worth of time and energy into this. Plus, it's a little bit of money. Hardcover will run you about $40 per volume, paperback about $25 per volume. I'll address the ebooks in a minute. If only there was a sampler, a way to test the waters. Well, that's where the episodes come in. The story naturally divides into eight parts, which I'm calling episodes. You can picture picking up this huge book, and there's a great big episode 2 title page that divides the first 20 or so chapters from the next. Each of these episodes will be available as its own bound book for the low price of only $10 a piece. So, if you're intrigued, but hesitant, you can always start with episode 1, which consists of only the first 21 chapters. It very much sets the scene, introduces the major characters, sets up a dire shamanic prophecy, and comes to a cliffhanger ending. From there, a reader can decide if they want to pick up the next installment. Perhaps they moderately enjoyed it and want to go on to episode 2. Perhaps they loved it and want to pick up volume 1 and get the next three episodes together. So, the book is being released in four formats. Eight paperback episodes, two paperback volumes, two hardcover volumes, and one singular omnibus in the ebook format only. Ebooks for both the episodes and the volumes will also be available, and they'll be your most economical options. Somewhere around $2 to $3 per episode, $5.99 per volume, and $9.99 for the omnibus. One little catch, though. The episodes are meant to be kept short for both price and marketing sake. Therefore, pay attention to the historical excursuses. The appendices will appear in all bindings, that is, in both the episodes and the volumes, as duplicate text. The excursuses will appear in full in volumes 1 and 2 as duplicate text. With the episodes, however, I'm trimming this down. The excursuses will occur only once, excursus 1 in episode 2, excursus 2 in episode 4, and so on. This is designed to cut down the number of pages and therefore make the printing process cheaper. So, if you buy episode 1, and you're reading along and come to a shamanic vision sequence, and you think to yourself, I have to find out more information about this religion before I can keep reading, that won't be in episode 1, it will be in volume 1. In the episodes, that excursus doesn't come up until episode 8. So if you'd like the excursuses at your fingertips from the get-go, I'd recommend going with the volumes. If you want the short sample of the story, you're kind of foregoing the exposition on a lot of the history and just going with the flow. By far, the most economical options are the ebooks, which are available both for Kindle and EPUB versions. By far, the cheapest option will give you the entire novel, which is the ebook Omnibus, at around $10. Your cheapest option for the entire novel on paper is the two volume set in paperback at around $50. And if you want to sample the story, go with episode one only $10 paperback, $2 to $3 for ebook. The novel does come to an end with what is available today. Chapter 140 ends on page 1177. I am planning a book 2, which I'm exploring now, but that will begin anew on chapter 1, page 1. It will not begin on chapter 141 and page 1178. That is why I'm releasing everything I have currently in one bulk release now. I do view the end of chapter 140 as an ending worthy of a novel. It is not merely the ending of another episode or volume. Book 2, tentatively named The Destiny of the Damned, is being explored currently.